What's up guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. Today, with the help of my friend Bujasak on YouTube, who's pretty much the god of light gun games and the light gun um, collectibles, he showed me there's a Final Fantasy X2 replica gun that's an actual controller. It's not a light gun, it actually acts as a DualShock controller for PlayStation 2. I bought it, and of course, first thing I did, I modded it. So let me show you the features. It's pretty much a gun con too. You got a full metal trigger, micro switch, button, button, D-pad, button button and then these two in the front are decorative all right and i put a fisheye lens in front too so i got that perfect aim going on over here all right i like to use the button up and down to navigate launch box and i map the left and right to actually coin and start so i because there's no coin and start extra buttons here so this way i can actually um start it from the d-pad which is quite useful so here i'm in launch box i'm going to use my new translucent wireless button box no wires press the b button it's gonna start big box. And the way I mapped it is uh, using start, I can en press enter, coin, I can press back. Number uh, Player two, I can go down, player one, I can go up. All right, and I can do the same thing with my light gun here. All right, so let's play uh, something that, that's actually pretty, that was updated recently, Virtual Cop 3. It works with Demo Shooter, and it can be upscaled to 4K. There is a rumble motor in here too. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... All right, now look at how, how easy it is to navigate with this. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. So I can get a full screen view. All right, now I can start. Perfect aim. And this is a 50 inch screen too. Large screens are very difficult for certain guns. So you wanna use something like this. All right, here we go, let's play. Remember, having a better gun doesn't make you a better player. It just means if you suck, you, you suck more clearly now, still your fault but you can't blame the aim tracks anymore. All right, now it's a easy mode. Uh, I have a button over here to do the time freezing mode. Okay, the side button. Reload with this button over here in the middle finger. I can press right D-pad to skip or this button is also mapped to start. You can change this to whatever you like too. So if you have a gun con too or anything, oopsie. See, told you, doesn't make you a better player. If you have a gun con too or anything that has multiple buttons, there's a lot of options. You can use it for volume control. You can use it to um, navigate. You can use it as shortcut keys. You can make it to enter the menu by pressing tabs. Possibilities are endless. But what I do like about this one is there's a button on the bottom. So with one hand, I can use my pinky and I can exit the game. Since this is kind of an extra button anyway, I already have all the main shoot, reload, and bomb buttons mapped. So I've made this one escape key and I can just use it to go right back, right back to my launch box. All right, big shout out to my friend, Ben Bujasaka. Check out his channel, I'm gonna link it below. If you wanna learn or see anything about light guns, he's got every gun dating back to like the early, I want to say like 80s, back uh, when Nintendo first came out with these. Or, all right, this was a really cool one. I know it was originally not a light gun, but it makes a really cool light gun. And it even comes with this little um, display piece here so that you can match the um, original graphic. If you find these, they're usually pretty expensive. And uh, they were meant as like a cosplay item because I can't really imagine playing with these two guns as a DualShock controller. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really make too much sense here, but, um, yeah, it's very cool looking. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in, uh, any of my mods or, uh, what they come in about every, every week, I get about, uh, eight to 10 pieces that I can make for people. All right, this week's already been full, filled up with orders. And then, uh, if you want to do the LED button box, this is a wireless Bluetooth button box that you can navigate your whole system with. Uh, you can escape 
launch big box, navigate, enter, all right? Or you can program it to do anything else you want, really, but this, this makes the most um, logistical sense to me. All right, see? Open the game. Oops, I forgot I removed that one. Open a game. Ah, shoot, sorry. I actually uh, changed my dolphin emulator to do something else. Here we go, just to show it. This is available on rpegelectronics.com. We have black, white, uh, the clear one is my own special one. And then you can exit the game by pressing the big red button. And they all have LEDs. You can turn off the LED to save battery power, but it's in an always on state mode. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.